Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, people of the world. I'm glad you're back and that the videos have been very edifying to you. Glory to God, right? Jesus Christ. So listen, y'all. I'm just saying Jesus Christ because we got to say Jesus. Okay? People be thinking. You just say God and they're thinking about whatever God they worship. And it's not always Jesus. I'm here talking about Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The only one. The only God. The truth, the way, and the life. Amen? Okay, so. Um, I want to tell you not to be discouraged. When you feel like God is feeling distant, you know, like in whatever situation you're facing. Because um, I'm going to try to make this quick, okay? In Psalm chapter 10, it says, Oh Lord, why do you stand so far away? Why do you hide when I am in trouble? Right? Because you could feel like God's not there when you're in trouble. But he's just like... Um, A parent when their toddler is learning how to walk and you have to let them go you have to let your child go so that they can try to walk on their own right because God can't just pacify you he can't you can't just um be a baby Christian forever you know spiritually you need to grow you need to put to practice what God has taught you and so he has to let you go but he didn't actually go away. He let you go so that you can walk to see, so that he can see what, he, what you're going to do. <laughs> it's a test. He's testing you. Okay? Because that's what God does. In Psalms um, 11, he, it says, But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. He watches everyone closely. So he's watching you closely. Everybody closely. He's watching you to see what you're going to do. He's watching your enemies to see what they're going to do. Amen. Examining. Examining. He's testing you. He's testing them. Okay. Examining every person on earth. The Lord examines both the righteous and the wicked. He hates those who love violence. So I'm guessing when he's examining, what God is seeing is a lot of violence. Because people get, have a hot temper, right? Including his children. Because why? The Lord feels far away when we're in trouble. He will rain down blazing coals and burning sulfur on the wicked, punishing them with scorching winds. For the righteous Lord loves justice. God doesn't like a bully, okay? The virtuous will see his face. The virtuous will see his face. Stop doubting God. Try your best not to doubt God because that's one of the tactics of the devil, okay? This is, this is Satan's plan. Number one doubt it makes you question god's word and goodness right you're not believing now you're not believing that god is good to you you're not believing his word because that's what his word says that he's good discouragement the devil wants to discourage you hold your head up Hold your head up. He makes you look at your problems rather than at God. Like when Peter was walking on the water because he saw Jesus and they were terrified. Jesus, is that you? Right? If that's you, Lord, tell me to come to you. He said, come. By faith, Peter followed the voice. He didn't recognize the image. He didn't recognize 
that that was Jesus by looking at him walking on the water toward them, toward the boat. But he recognized the voice. And by faith, he followed it. Got out of the boat, walked on water until he doubted. When he took his eyes off of Jesus and onto the waves. Like that. That's a big wave. You know. Of course our problems may seem big. I'm not minimizing your problems. But God is bigger. Jesus. Got your back. Remember? In um, Isaiah 52. He said I got your back. I got you from behind. And he goes ahead of us. And he's with us. And he's within us. Via Holy Spirit, right? So, what else does the devil do? Diversion. He creates diversions. He makes the wrong things seem attractive. So you want them instead of the right thing. Right? Defeat. He makes you feel defeated. Defeat makes you feel like a failure. So you don't even try. Not good enough, you guys. I battle all these thoughts all the time. One more. Delay. Makes you put off doing something so it never gets done. You see? And those, all of those go hand in hand. And we rebuke all of that stuff in Jesus' name. Because these are the fiery darts of the devil. These are the fiery darts that are mentioned in Psalm 91. So I'm going to read it over you. Psalm 91. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. I trust him. You got to trust God to walk with him. It's because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Okay? And um, our faith is the evidence of things we hope for that are unseen. Okay? So... For we, for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. His faithful promises are in the word of God. They're in the Bible. Okay? So any thought, any fiery dart that is any voice that you are hearing, any thought that is putting it, itself a, above God's word is the devil, okay? Because he's prideful, remember? He wants to be God. He wants you to worship him. God hasn't given you the spirit of fear, brother and sister, or person of the world. God doesn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. A sound mind. And perfect love casts out all, all fear. So when you know the goodness of God, don't doubt that God loves you because he does. And when you know that he loves you perfectly... All your fear goes away because you know God loves you. And then that's why we love him back and we love him more and we want to share. We want to be that love. We get filled with the love of God because he loved us first. So then we want to, by nature, love back. We want to share what we feel that God has given us first. Amen? So then, that's how you know. That's how you know you're God's disciple. Because you you love people. Okay? 
even if they hurt you, you respectfully, lovingly may keep your distance. Okay, that's okay. Um, forgiveness and trust are two different things. Excuse me, forgiveness. You can forgive someone. It doesn't mean, excuse me, that they've gained all your trust back. They could burn a bridge. You can forgive them because the forgiveness is for you. It's for you to have a clean heart with God. Because God says if you don't forgive those who uh, have trespassed against you, who have hurt you, sinned against you, I, I can't forgive you either. God won't forgive you unless you forgive them first so that you can be blameless in his sight. Okay? And then he can avenge you. You can't be just as guilty with a plank in your eye or a hypocrite. Taking matters into your own hands and not giving God room to be God. Because you're puffed up in anger. Because you're doing the opposite of being loving. You know, I told you love isn't rude or boastful, doesn't keep records of wrong. It hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails. Love never fails. God's love never fails. He will never fail you. It says right here in the rest of Psalm 91. Do not be afraid. Or wait. He will cover you with his feathers, his shelter. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. See? So don't be afraid of the terrors of the night or the arrows that fly in the day. So the devil, the, the terrors of the night... That devil will attack your mind in the night while you're trying to sleep where you should be at peace. God's children sleep in peace. I use that verse when I'm ter terrorized in the night, when it does happen, um, because it's happened in the past. I've experienced it. And what I've done, what I've learned to do, God taught me. He's You, you can recite God's word back to, back to him in your prayers for bedtime and say, Lord, the word says your children go to sleep with perfect peace. So give me that perfect peace, Lord, because you love me. Lord, show me you love me too. I'm your child, right? Please, Lord. And if I've sinned against you, please forgive me. And if I'm just blind to it or I'm not seeing it, Lord, please reveal it to me. Help me understand it so that I can repent, Lord. I'm scared. Forgive me, God. I don't want to offend you, Lord. I'm not trying to intentionally offend you, Lord, but I'm scared right now. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. Help me, God. Give me peace. Help me focus on your truth. You guys, you got to seek God's word. You understand? Don't be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that fly in the day. That devil is at it in the night and in the day. In the night and in the day. I told you, that's why God has the watchman. I'm, you guys, I'm up at, you want to talk about, the, it's 1.29 a.m. It's 1.29 in the morning, and I'm up doing this video to encourage you so that you can see it tomorrow. I'm up looking out for God's people, and I'm going to pray. And I already prayed, and I pray all day. I pray all day. God has blessed me right now with a season where I have the time to do that. So if you're in a season where you're busy, where I mean like really like you're about the Lord's business, but you have so much to do, which I, I'm not saying I don't have anything to do. I have four children, okay, from the ages of five and 16. So I am plenty busy, all right? And I have a whole household and I have three pets. So I have a lot to do too. But I make intentional time for God. I seek him for everything because I am a single mother. I need God. I need his guidance. I need his love. I need his protection. I need 
his presence with me all the time. And so when I I feel that God is distant from me, it's I sometimes I do lose it because I'm like, Lord, this is too much. Like I maybe I'm not going through anything like like super huge, you know, but everything becomes scary to me because I'm alone and I don't have a circle right now. Like, I'm just with God. I'm in a season of just drawing near to God and 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 focusing on Him, okay? God has eliminated all the extra baggage and distractions so that I could focus on Him and get closer to Him and get it through my head as a default that He is with me no matter what. Amen? So this video is for you. So, you know, so just don't be afraid. Um, though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. I'm going to tell you something that I teach my kids. If you're sleeping and you're experiencing sleep paralysis or some kind of demonic attack, you know, like demons walking up to you and then you start to feel fear because you're a vivid dreamer or you're aware that you're dreaming and that this is demonic and there's some kind of demon trying to approach you, say by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you. And instantly, instantly, they back off. You, The dream stops. Okay? So that's really good. That's like, for real, how... Oh, I think God wants... Yes, Lord. I'm going to finish Psalm 91. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter... No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. You see, no evil. If you if you run to God, no evil will touch you or conquer you. No plague will come near your home. So it's not a plague, a plague? Y'all, that, that means you think that you're cursed or something. You're not cursed, okay? I rebuke that thought from the devil that's a lie from the pits of hell and he wishes you would believe that. Don't. I'm here to tell you that's a lie from the devil. Don't come into agreement with it, okay? Just fight it. I hope this video is helping you fight it. If you are someone that's feeling that, like for real, like, no. No, you're 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 the light of the world. The light penetrates the darkness. Those devils are afraid of you and your authority. When you open up your mouth and say what I just taught you by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name, I bind you and rebuke you in Jesus name. Right, mic drop. No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Hallelujah. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample. You will trample. It doesn't say you're going to get trampled. It says you will trample <laughs> upon lions and cobras. You will, excuse me, why am I burping? I'm sorry. You will crush fear. I think it's from all the talking and stuff. Like, You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life. And I will give them and give them my salvation. So you shall be saved. Okay. And then just to like. 
like brag on God. The rest of Psalm 10 says, the wicked think God isn't watching us. He has closed his eyes and won't even see what we do. Arise, O Lord, punish the wicked, O God. Do not ignore the helpless. You're not helpless, okay? Or maybe you are helpless. But you got God. On your own, you're helpless because you feel alone, but you're really not alone. Okay, God's with you. So you got to fight your own thoughts and whatever thoughts you're having that are against how powerful and big and huge God is because he is, all right, and he's for you. And they're they're getting punished. It's all over the Bible. The devil's defeated. He's been exposed. He's like, this all just shut it down. Shut down whatever nonsense he thinks he's doing in your life right now. It says, why do the wicked get away with despising God? They think God will never call and call us to account. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're going to give an account. You take note of it and punish them. See? The helpless put their trust in you. You defend the orphans. You may think, I don't even have parents. God, you are my parent. You guys, my mom, my, my dad passed away. And my mom is two and a half hours away from me. I don't have anybody like all close to me except so I be I say that. God, you're my dad and my husband and my God. Protect me, Lord. God, you gotta be there for me. Lord, please protect me. Break the arms of these wicked evil people. Go after them until the, every last one is destroyed. The Lord is king forever and ever. The godless nations will vanish from the land. Lord, you know these, the hopes of the helpless. Surely you will hear the, the, their cries and comfort them. Yeah, cry out. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our cry and saving us. For real, God. For real, God. You will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed. To the orphans and the oppressed. The oppressed? Psh, back off. Stop pressing on me, Satan. Back off. You will bring justice to the orphans and the oppressed. So, so mere people can no longer terrify them. See, these people are just... I don't mean to scare you. These people are just people. They're just people. What are mere people? What, what are they going to do to you? They're just men. Don't fear the people that can even kill you, y'all. Because later on, we will be persecuted by the world, you know. Because we're Christians, by default, the world hates us, okay. Because we are the light. We expose the darkness. They don't like the light, okay. A lot of people love their sin. They want to sin in peace. That's what they want, Okay. That's the peace they seek is to sin in peace. And whatever. God's watching them. That's all on God. Okay, that's all on God. They're on God. You, you're good. I hope this helped you. I'm tired. I, you saw it's late. I don't mean to be all weird, but it is late and I am getting tired. So, this is a side of me you will see only at this hour. It's 1.40 now. So, Hallelujah. Glory to God, Jesus. Thank you so much for this word, God. I pray that you send this word forth straight to whoever it's for, God. Whoever's listening, I hope they're listening right now in Jesus' name. That that really, that this whole video really was exactly what they needed to hear to comfort them. Even as, as they were doubting, maybe as I was speaking, that I was... That you, God, were fighting for them with your word. As I was reading your word, God, that it was really truly done... Lord, I pray, God, I pray for your people. God, help me, Lord, to serve you and to be more, um, I don't know, God, just none of me and all of you through me, God, for your glory. Because we're going to die, Lord. Time is short. Time is running out. And we're just all about the Lord's business here. Help me to lift up my brothers and sisters in Christ. Help me to, you know... God, you gra grab a hold of the pe these people that need to get to know you for the first time, for the second time, for the third time, that need the watering because someone else planted a seed and now they're here and they're hearing me and it's like, 
whoa i hope this is i hope you subscribe if you haven't subscribed that they share the video you know spread the love spread spread the message of uh redemption because god is for us who could be against us no weapon formed against us shall prosper in jesus name we touch this prayer in agreement for the glory due to your name lord jesus thank you god thank you so much lord amen i'm sorry i was just feeling god so i'm gonna go pray y'all i'm gonna continue i'm gonna go like you know have some be alone with god now wake up in the morning and read your comments and stuff so i i've really been enjoying your guys's comments um i appreciate you guys sharing the videos and stuff like that and i encourage you to do that because psh, that's on god all right that's like and i'm not saying like i mean like that's on you between you and god that's what i mean okay just to clarify so i love you all I'll see you guys in the next video